Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can save data from SAP directly to your computer's clipboard. This should be practical if, for example, something is transferred from one program to another program, such as Excel. So I have already created a program here. I declared a local variable called return code. And then I select some data from the database table SBFly into an internal table. Next, I call the class CL GUI Frontend Services and I call the method clipboard export. Here I have some importing parameters, changing parameters and exceptions. The importing data, here I pass my internal table LTSB fly. Then the changing parameter is the return code. Here I pass my return code variable. And then I have some exceptions like error, no, no GUI, not supported by GUI, no authority and so on. Then um, let's display the selected data in the internal table with the class CLDemo output display and here I pass the internal table so that, that we can compare the data from the internal table with the data from our clipboard. So let's run the program. We see this is my selection, some records with the care ID LH and this data we should have in the clipboard too. So we close this tab, we go here in our code and then let's paste, right mouse click and paste. And here we see this is from our clipboard. So that works pretty well. We see we can pass here table data, but we can pass single data, single values as well. So for this, I create another uh, internal table, uh, type standard table of character 100. Then let's create an GUI ID with the class CL system UID and the method create UID C22 static, for example. And then let's pass the created UID to our clipboard. So then we append the created GUI ID to the local table clipboard. And then let's display the UID. And here let's pass, no, not the GUI ID. Let's pass here the internal table LT clipboard. So we activate the code and we run the code. We see here the generated GUI ID. And again, let's close the tab and let's paste here the data from our clipboard and it's the generated GUI ID. So, and here we see we have a warning. Okay, there is an exception is not caught. So let's do this with a try and catch block. Try, then catch the exception, CX UID error and try and activate the code again. Now the warning is gone. So we run the code again. We see another generated GUI ID. Let's close the tab and let's check what data is in the clipboard. We paste here. It's the new generated GUI ID. So that works pretty fine. Okay, yes, at the end, as always, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments. Take care and see you in the next video.